so welcome to this video here we we'll give you uh, this is a surface integral problem but in particular it's a more of a flux problem they're telling us here that um, let v which is defined in terms of x and y and z which is 0 z and 3 represent a fluid find the flux through s given by the portion of a plane here is the equation of the plane and we are told that it is in the first octant and that the orientation is upwards okay so we're going to get more information about this as we go along let's just do like a rough drawing of of what we're gi given here Okay, it's just a rough sort of drawing. So let's find the intercepts. We'll let z equal to zero, x and x equal to zero. I will give us y. Y here will become zero, zero, and three. Do the same thing for the this z. This is y this is x do the same thing for z let z let x and y equal to zero you're going to get zero zero and six do the same thing for the x so we're going to get here we're going to get two zero zero that's fine let's just draw let's use a different color Right is nice. It's fine. That's fine. Yes. So what they said here is that the orientation is upwards. So you know that have our surface here so the flux should be going through this they said that it's, it's upwards so we'll be doing something like this so in other words it's coming out of the surface so that's what they want us to do here In terms of solving this, first we have to. I'm going to do it in three steps. The first one is the level curve, or level surface. I mean, here we're going to look at the equation that they gave us. Is f is equal to take everything to the same side so we're going to get 3x plus 2y plus z minus 6 that's fine then the second thing that we do uh, let's be consistent with color Second thing that we do is that we take the partial of this in terms of x, y, and z. So this becomes 3, this becomes 2, and z becomes 1. So we're taking the derivative, derivative, and derivative. That's fine. So since they said like this is something that you must notice since they said that uh, the, the orientation must be positive this z the z component must be positive so that's something you have to note here they said that the orientation is upwards 
This means then this set must be positive. Okay. That's fine. Oh, and then what do we do next? What we do next is uh, we go for the actual solving of the problem right now. One thing we know is that for line integrals, no, I mean for flux problems, we are going to have something like this. This is generally what we use for flux problems here, which involves this, the integrals. This n right here. The n is defined by the parcel of f divided by the magnitude of the parcel of f. That's fine. It was already found that the parcel of x is 3, 2, and 1. And then the magnitude of this will be simply the root of 9, the root of plus, I mean, then plus 4, then plus 1 is easily root of 14. That's fine. This v. This we were given, that's the equation that we have there, here. So, this is 0, z, and 3. Okay. So, we can easily plug this in here. Another thing that we notice is that now there is this ds. So, we must find a way to remove this ds and put it into b. DA, which is something that we use for for surface integrals. So this can be easily we can do the maneuvering here. So we say that n is defined by the partial of f over the magnitude of f, and then d here is actually the magic factor and it goes like this and then this is a DA so we just cancel this one and cancel this one then I'll have to V times sort of uh, over F DA this is all good and something we can use because we have this and we have this so in a way, we're fine. Okay. This is the integral. We know this is 0, z, and 3. Dotted with. We know this is 3, this is 2, this is 1. And then we have dA there. The dA can be... Okay, in this case... We look at our pressure. We look which one here is the most easiest one or the most simpler. In this case, it's, it's one. It's, it's F. It's FZ. This becomes FZ. That's fine. If we use FZ here, this one will become DX and DY. It's fine, we can use dx and dy, or we can use dy or dx, because it all depends on how we set up our limits here. This all is divided by fz, which is equal to 1. That's fine. So, we can just simply do the simplification of this. So the product should be this 2z plus 3 x dy then the integral here that's fine but now it's in terms of set and we have dy and dz here 
so it's a problem but now we can solve that because we know that z is defined by this if we substitute z here the problem will be very simple it will be 2 into 6 minus 3x minus 2y plus 3 this is fine and then this is so before I write this side here let, let's let's think let's look for the limits of this the way we do that we're going to start here because we're looking for the limits in terms of of y and and x so we know that x is starting from 0 to 2 that's not a problem and then y so let, let me just do another sketch of that Yes, this is fine. And then here we have 2. This is x. This is y. And then we have 3 here. This equation will be minus 3 over 2. x plus 3. That's fine. This is 0. That's okay as well. So x is defined from 0 to 2. 0 to 2. But now y. Okay, we cannot say it's from 0 to 3 but because it is changing. See, so it's not linear here, but rather it's changing. So, y is starting from 0 to the equation every time. From 0 to the equation. So, starting from 0 to the equation minus 3 over 2x plus 3. This is fine. This is fine. So, I think from here, now look, looking at this, that we, we can no longer use this uh, this formation, if I can say, because this is in terms of dx and dy, yet here we start with y and then we end with x, so here we put what? dy, dx. And then we simplify the inside here. The inside of of the of the bracket this will give us 15 uh, minus 6 x minus 4 y and this is fine minus 3 over 2 x plus 3 0 and 2 dy dx and then we share this all over so we get 15 dy dx minus 6 x dy dx minus 4 y dy dx this is all over the same the same limits and this is easy to do thank you